Hi guys, it's your next day nurse Florence and you're welcome to my channel where we talk all about emergency health and wellness tips. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the stages of hypertension and its management. Don't go away. Blood pressure is the force exerted by the circulating blood against the walls of the body's arteries. High blood pressure or hypertension is when the blood pressure is too high. Blood pressure is classified into four categories. We have the normal, the prehypertension, which is mild, stage one, which is moderate, and stage two, which is severe. Treatment depends on the category your blood pressure consistently falls in when the readings are taken. The blood pressure is measured with an instrument called a sphygmomanometer and a stethoscope, through which the user listens for the sound of the force of blood in the patient's arteries when the heart beats or pumps blood around the body. That's the systolic pressure or the top number. And when the pressure in the arteries of the heart is at rest or when the heart relaxes and refills the blood that's the diastolic pressure or the bottom number. The blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury. The stages of hypertension and its management. One, the normal blood pressure. The top number or the systolic pressure is less than 120 millimeter of mercury. And the bottom number or the diastolic pressure is less than 80 millimeter of mercury. Here, no treatment is required or necessary, but you should monitor your blood pressure to be sure that it remains within the normal range. 2. Prehypertension or mild hypertension. The top number or the systolic pressure is between 120 and 139 millimeter of mercury, and the bottom number or diastolic pressure is between 80 and 89 millimeter of mercury. Prehypertension, as the name implies, is before the person's blood pressure crosses the threshold for the definition of hypertension. But note that the person is at risk of developing hypertension. Here, lifestyle modification is recommended as this would help or try to prevent the onset of hypertension. These lifestyle measures include regular exercises, managing body weight, the person should have a BMI of 20 to 25, eating a diet high in fruits and vegetables, and choosing low-fat dairy products. 3. Stage 1 or moderate hypertension. The top number or the systolic pressure is between 140 and 159 millimeter of mercury and the bottom number or the diastolic pressure is between 90 and 99 millimeter of mercury. Here, the management includes lifestyle modifications as well as the use of medications that are known to not only reduce blood pressure but also reduce the risk of stroke and heart diseases. You will need to see your personal physician or seek medical help because you may need to try different drugs until you find the one that has the best results for you. 4. Stage 2 or severe hypertension. This is when the top number or the systolic pressure is 160 mm of mercury or higher and the bottom number or diastolic pressure is 100 mm of mercury or higher. In this stage, the management includes lifestyle changes as well as the use of a combination of medications. To get the blood pressure down, you would need to seek medical help or see your personal physician so that your physician can choose from the five different classes of blood pressure medications for you. Note, if your systolic or diastolic pressures fall into different stages, the stage with the higher number is the one that counts. For example, if you have a systolic pressure of 150 mm of mercury and a diastolic pressure of 85 mm of mercury, you will be classified as stage 1 hypertension and not prehypertension. Also, if you are over 50 years, it is a diastolic pressure that predicts your risk for cardiovascular diseases, not the systolic pressure. High or raised blood pressure, if left untreated, could lead to coronary artery diseases, which could mean a heart attack or stroke. You should have your blood pressure checked regularly and follow your physician's advice for keeping your blood pressure under control. 
So guys, I hope you find this content helpful and useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Please subscribe, click on the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. If you have comments or questions, you can drop them in the comment section below and I will attend to them. I'm still your next door nurse and I'm just a knock away. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.